Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're diving into a topic that might just blow your mind. Did you ever stop to think that some of the simple everyday things you do could be zapping your testosterone levels? Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about the big T, testosterone, which as you might know is super crucial for us guys. It's not just about muscle mass or bone density, it's also about what fuels our libido. Now you might be sitting there thinking everything's cool with your lifestyle, but here's the thing. There are some super common habits and choices you might be making every day that could be secretly lowering your testosterone levels. And trust me, these aren't weird, rare things. They're everyday behaviors that many of us don't even blink at. But hey, I'm not here to just scare you with the bad news. This video is all about solutions too. We're going to walk through five everyday testosterone traps you might be falling into without even realizing it. And I'm not just going to throw these out there. I'm going to give you some solid tips on how to dodge these hormone destroyers. So if you want to keep your testosterone levels on point, make sure you stick around. Let's get into it and uncover these hidden enemies and how you can kick them to the curb. All right, let's dive straight into one of the big testosterone killers that's probably lurking in your kitchen right now, processed foods. We all love the convenience of just zapping something in the microwave or tearing open a package for a quick bite, right? But here's the deal. This convenience might be costing you more than you think, especially when it comes to your health. Let's break it down with one of the main culprits here. Sugar. Yep, that sweet stuff that makes everything taste so good can actually be a major party pooper for your testosterone. When you load up on sugar, your body goes on a bit of a panic mode and pumps out insulin to deal with all that extra sweetness. This surge in insulin can then cause your testosterone levels to plummet, sometimes for several hours after you've indulged in your favorite sugary treat. That soda or those cookies might not be such a good deal for your body after all. But sugar isn't the only bad guy in the story. Processed foods are also often crammed with high sodium and artificial additives, from preservatives all the way to artificial colors. These can mess with your hormonal balance by interfering with how your body naturally produces testosterone. This means even those non-sweet and processed items can be secretly sabotaging your testosterone levels. So in the grand scheme of things, those microwave meals you just heat and eat like instant noodles, canned soups, TV dinners, all those sweet baked goods, and even some breads. Oh, all these processed goodies might be convenient, but they're potential secret hormone disruptors. Here's what you can take away from all this. If you're serious about keeping your testosterone levels healthy, you've got to be mindful about what you're putting into your body. Processed foods might save time, but they're not helping your hormonal health. Next time you hit the grocery store, think twice about reaching for those processed options. Going for fresh, whole foods isn't just better for maintaining your testosterone levels. It's a solid choice for your overall well-being. And honestly, your body will definitely thank you for making that switch. All right, let's get into another huge testosterone killer that might be flying under your radar. Lack of sleep. Have you ever thought that your nightly Z's could be affecting your hormone levels? It's not the first thing most guys think about, but the connection between sleep and testosterone is huge and totally significant. Basically, it's during the deep, restful stages of sleep that your body actually pumps out most of its daily testosterone. That's right, the quality and the quantity of your sleep both play massive roles here. Studies have shown that each additional hour of sleep could boost your testosterone levels by up to 15%. That's definitely not a number to snooze on. But hold up, let's flip this around and talk about what happens when you don't catch enough shut-eye. There was this eye-opening study where guys who only slept about 5 hours a night for a week saw their testosterone levels drop by an alarming 10-15%. to 15%. And this isn't just a one-off. Other research backs up how chronic sleep deprivation seriously drains your testosterone tank. This isn't just about feeling tired or not being your best self during the day. Low testosterone can lead to less muscle mass, lower energy levels, decreased libido, and even mood swings. So what can you do to make sure you're getting the kind of sleep that supports robust testosterone levels? I'll give you guys some killer tips to boost your sleep quality. First, stick to a consistent sleep schedule. Second, create a sleep-friendly environment. Your bedroom should be cool, dark, and quiet. And a very important tip is to watch your screen time before bed. The blue light from your phone, tablet, or computer can mess with your body's natural sleep-wake cycle. Sleeping isn't just about recharging your batteries, it's a critical part of maintaining optimal testosterone levels. Now, moving on to our third testosterone killer, and it's something we all deal with. Stress. The pressure of hitting all those deadlines, the constant ticking of the clock, 
relationship issues, and worrying if you're living up to all those big expectations. These stresses can have a way bigger impact on us than most of us actually realize. Chronic stress in particular can really mess with our bodies and minds. But here's something you might not have known. It can also seriously drop your testosterone levels. Let me explain how that works. When stress becomes a frequent guest in your life, your body starts pumping out more cortisol, also known as the stress hormone. This hormone gets you ready to handle tough situations. It's actually pretty essential in small doses, helping to regulate blood sugar, reduce inflammation, and even aid in memory formation. However, here's the catch. When you have too much cortisol floating around, it starts to affect your testosterone production negatively. Cortisol and testosterone have an inverse relationship. When one goes up, the other goes down. This is because your body is all about priorities. During stressful times, it thinks surviving is more crucial than reproducing. So it reduces the production of testosterone, which is key for reproductive and sexual functions, and ramps up cortisol production instead. So here are a few things you can do to manage stress and keep your testosterone levels in check. Get moving with regular exercise. Exercise isn't just good for your muscles. It's a proven stress reliever. It helps lower cortisol levels and at the same time boosts your testosterone production. Practicing mindfulness with activities like meditation and yoga are great for controlling stress. They help you relax and can normalize your cortisol levels, which is great for your hormonal balance. Also a big one, maybe the most important one, is to eat well. A balanced diet full of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants can help manage cortisol production and support your overall hormonal health in big ways. Stress isn't just a mental or emotional issue. It has a real tangible effect on your physical health, including your testosterone levels. By keeping stress in check, you're doing your testosterone levels a huge favor. Remember, it's all about maintaining that healthy balance to stay on top and perform at your best. Next up on our list of testosterone killers is something that might hit a little close to home for a lot of us, alcohol. Now, I'm not here to tell you to ditch your weekend beers or those nice glasses of wine. What we need to talk about is how going overboard with drinking can actually lower your testosterone levels. We're talking about the excessive drinking. So let's break down the science a bit. Alcohol has a pretty significant impact on your endocrine system, which you can think of as the conductor of the hormone balance in your body. It's in charge of directing the production, release, and function of all your hormones. Now, imagine your conductor is tipsy. It's likely the music will get a bit chaotic, right? That's similar to what happens in your body when you drink too much alcohol. It disrupts your endocrine system's ability to function properly, leading to a drop in hormone production, including testosterone. But it doesn't stop there. Alcohol also hits other areas of your health like your liver function, which in turn affects testosterone production even more. It's like a domino effect, starting with that extra drink, which leads to a little hormonal chaos. Moderation is absolutely key when it comes to alcohol. You don't have to completely cut out your favorite drinks, but keeping them in check is crucial. Last but definitely not least on our list of testosterone killers is the sedentary lifestyle. We all know these long hours spent sitting at a desk or just being a couch potato can seriously mess with your testosterone levels. Testosterone is one hormone that really loves it when you move. When you're active, your body gets the message to pump out more testosterone. But when you lounge around too much, it starts to dwindle. Simply put, by not moving, you're basically telling your body, hey, no need to produce all that testosterone. Any physical activity is better than none at all, and some types are particularly great for giving your testosterone levels a big boost. Take resistance training, for example. Activities like weightlifting really push your muscles to the limit and challenge your body to up its testosterone production. Then there's high-intensity interval training, or HIT which involves short bursts of intense exercise, followed by a little rest. These workouts are awesome because they trick your body into thinking it's under stress, so it pumps out more testosterone to cope with the perceived threat. So there you have it, friends. Five common everyday things that could be totally tanking your testosterone levels. Remember to limit or stay away from processed foods. Make sure you get enough quality sleep, which helps with managing stress levels. Stress is a huge factor that creates cortisol and kills those T levels. And don't forget to also not go overboard on your alcohol consumption and try and stay active and get your body moving more.
Just focusing on these five main things can really naturally help your testosterone levels and hormone balance. If you learned something new, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome content like this. Stay healthy and remember to flex and glow.